1979, the first World Climate Conference was held in Geneva as weather patterns began to drastically change. This was due to rapid industrialization and deforestation, which had led to global warming. Since then, the world continues to search for elusive answers and Western countries have spent billions of dollars trying to mitigate the causes of global warming. In May 2014, the IGAD Climate Prediction and Application Center announced that the months of June, July and August will experience unpredictable rains. Before every season, they issue seasonal forecasts. And if farmers can take advantage of those seasonal forecasts, they would, they would, be, they would improve on their production. In Uganda, farmers are beginning to feel the effect According to experts, the interlacastrine region will be hit hardest. The lake region, they will be uh, from below to above normal rainfall. So, all areas around the lake region are expected to have above no more rains, which is what you are observing. Let us just see, demonstrate something from uh, the Google Maps. Here is the world map. Most people assume that the rains we get in Uganda come from around Lake Victoria. But when you compare this water body and the international water bodies like uh, the Indian Ocean and the South Atlantic Ocean, uh, Lake Victoria is simply nothing. Uh, we have different winds like this one's coming from the Indian Ocean, which... Uh, hit East Africa to give us almost 65% of the rains that we get. Uh, when you see, look at the, the rains in, uh, is in Uganda right from 1900 to 1930, uh, you realize that uh, the month of June, which we are in right now, uh, received uh, these uh, millimeters mil of, of rain, uh, which uh, if we compare with the nearby years like uh, between uh, uh, 1900 and 2009, uh, the month when you look at it, there is no big difference. This means that it's just a simple uh, the change in the patterns and distribution of the winds which uh, bring us the rainfall. Uh, when you look at uh, how Uganda is going to be in uh, these three months uh, that's june july and august most of the areas will be having uh, that cloudy kind of uh, environment uh, when you continue to look at uh, as the months are going to be flowing we shall be having cloudy most of the time and just uh, in a few days we shall be having a lot of sun so if the situation is going to be like this for this period of time uh, what should now the farmers do uh, in order to continue reaping from this job? Hybrid uh, crops are very good. However, one of the shortcomings of some of these hybrid crops is that you cannot uh, save seeds from them and plant. According to some scientific findings, there is fear that some genetically modified seeds are dangerous to these soils. The Meteorological Department is now embarking on providing information to farmers on weather patterns through the native dialects. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.